Well, we've had our coin drops now for about two or three years now. And the reason I designed this uh, particular shaped head is because it's got a different drop on the action. It flips and flops like a coin falling through the water. That's where the name coin drop comes through. Also, I, wanna, I wanted to improve the way the, the insert and also the way that we attach the skirt. So when you're rigging these coin drops, it's really important to get it around the right way because you'll notice the insert goes in that side, that's the back end. So when it falls down the line, it actually hammers that insert in. If you do it around the wrong way, it hammers the insert out. So you go through the front here, and then you put on, so this is not like a slider skirt, it's separated from the hooks. So you put on your skirt, and the beauty of this is you can put two on, you can put different colors on, um, you can make like Frankenstein lures as we like to call them. And then, jelly babies. all jelly babies. And then you put the hooks on, so tie that on with the uni knot. And, You'll see, the reason I did this So you you get the idea of the insert now Every time it bangs down, it's banging that insert in If you do it around the wrong way, it's actually going to bang the insert out Also, when you're taking the hooks out of a fish's mouth, which I'll show you in a second You can slide this all away and just use your pliers on these hooks so you don't damage all these tassels. So that's why it's a bit better than a slider for the um, the way it's rigged. Now let's drop it down and we'll catch a fish and I'll show you what I mean when I'm taking the hooks out. So another thing, bendy rods work much better than stiff rods for any type of sliding lure. You can see this rod here. It's a very bendy tip. This is a new rod we're working on. It works really well on coin drops. So let's drop it down and hopefully we'll catch fish and I'll show you um, how you get the hooks out. But this has got a different action than the slider. The slider is more of a hanger. There's no built-in action to the head, but this actually has action on the drop. I hope you can see it. You might even be able to see it. See, see it's going to see it going to onto its side. You watch. It goes onto its side, and it's a different action than a slider. So let's nice. drop it down. So I'm just dropping down, real bendy rod, overhead reel. I'm feeling for um, knocks on the drop. So I'm watching my rod tip. If I feel any stops, any knocks, I'm going to put it to gear and start winding. So drop down to the bottom. The technique's really easy, still going down like just about feel it flipping flopping from side to side. So a different action than a normal slider. Still going down. So that's on the bottom now. That's all I do now. Start winding. Wind, 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 wind. <laughs> got one. That's how easy it is. So I got one straight away. Um, when I'm fighting the fish, I tend to keep it, you know, the angle down. I'm not pumping and winding. I'm just gently winding the handle. When it wants to run, I will. So it's a more of a gentle approach. So very effective lure. Some days this lure will work better than all the other ones. Some days sliders work better, but there is days where coin drops do work better. So it's definitely worth having these puppies in your um, in your tackle bag for when your sliders don't work. Give these ones a go. There you go. It's just a little penny. But I like pennies, as a lot of you know. But I like eating them. Just come out to the top, so I'm not really laying into it. Just slowly bringing it to the surface. Nice and steady. Here he comes. So I'm just going to do that. When, they, when it's double hooked like that, I always get one out first. Because it makes it safer to hold. I'm just going to take that one out. And then, so that's how I take the fish off. Fingers and hands on the gills, it's because I'm keeping it. But now you'll see the magic is I can pull all that away. 
So I've pulled all that away. So when I go to take my hook out, I can see it a lot better and I'm not damaging my tassels. See, so it's easier to get the hooks out. So there you have it, Ocean Angler coin drop. If you like sliders, make sure you try one because you may be surprised some days it will outfish a slider. Thanks for watching.